Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Today, took another break from fishing, um, back out at it in the mushroom woods, and uh, the, the weather's been just right lately. We're getting, you know, nice temps in the 50s and 60s. Um, that gets your ground temperatures up where they need to be. Plus, we've had some rain and some thunderstorms, which is also excellent. If you get a warm rain and some thunderstorms during your 50s and 60s, that's about guaranteed to pop your morels. And, uh, sure enough i was just going along here looking and um also they're getting bigger you know the first time i went out i showed you they were really small i think the uh temperatures were just wrong and they were kind of stunting the growth but um yeah i'm going to show you real quick these ones i found and i'm going to take my time going through here because there's bound to be more so stay tuned guys let's we'll see what we find all right guys i was just going along here walking the trails being super careful because it's, it's hard to see these blacks but as you can see, we got a decent one right there. That's not bad for a black. And then, like I said, when, when you find one, always keep your eyes peeled because there's bound to be more. Sure enough, there's one right here. Yeah, and I see right now I'm kneeling on the ground. I like to get down low. It's good to get right, right as close as you can to the ground when when you get in a spot where uh you know where you find one or two you always want to get low to the ground because it, it gives you such a better view like it, it's amazing what a what a different angle will do for you makes a big difference so yeah let's just uh keep on checking see what we find All right, guys now this was a first for me i seen this from a little ways away and i thought i was seeing things but there's Right here, we got two morels growing right out of this tree. Yeah, I have never seen anything like that. That is very cool. Yeah, so now we got four. <laughs> Keep on hunting. All right, guys, here we have another one. Another good size one there. They're so hard to find. I mean, they really, really know how to hide. <laughs> but that's what makes it so exciting, I guess, is uh, the thrill of being able to find these things. It's definitely a good feeling. All right, guys, here we got a couple more. These are just some little ones, but I'm going to pick them anyway. They're going to go with the steaks I'm cooking tonight or on the grill. But yeah, they're definitely popping right now, guys. This is uh, a good time of year. See the blacks, they're always the first ones to start popping. So um when you when you get to the whites and the grays, you know it's getting a little later in the season, but yeah, it's still early. This is pretty good. Yeah, you just never know what you're gonna find when you get your head all down to the ground. <laughs> it sure helps to find some uh interesting stuff. Good thing is it's not an empty bottle, that's darn near full. So yeah, I'll probably put that to use this season. What's funny is I stopped here to grab the doe pee, and I look this way, because whenever I stop, I take my time looking around. And here's a big old black morel growing out of this tree stump. That's probably the best one yet. Notice I break them off too. I don't see, you know, there's all kinds of theories around about, you know, whether you should leave the roots in the ground or whether it matters. But you know what? To me, I'm not going to take a chance. I mean, what's the point? It ain't going to hurt to leave a little bit in the ground. So, yeah, I break them off like this. Now, another thing I, fa I keep failing to mention is when you find one morel, look around. Take a look at the trees and the foliage that, you're, that, that surrounds this morel. Because if there's a reason for one to be there, there's a reason for more. Um, so that's a big thing, you know, like right now I'm in an area, it's all, you know, popple trees, lots of dead and dying poplar trees. And, you know, if, if you find one around them, there's going to be more. So I'm actually sticking to the same area right now and it seems to be working. So yeah, hard telling how many I've walked past, but you know what, they're here. So I'm just going to keep on looking and see what we find. Yeah. These darn things blend in so well. I always try to think to myself just how many I might be you know, stepping on or 
kicking over. I hate the thought, but I'm sure it happens. This one's been chewed up a bit by bugs. Probably has a bug or two in it, but I'm not worried about it. I'll show you what I do when I get home to get rid of the bugs. Yeah, so far this turned out to be a decent day. Well, walking back towards the truck and just happened to see this beauty sticking out of the leaves. So, yep, another one for the pouch. Okay, now I showed you guys these on the last little mushroom episode I did. But this is the false morel. It's also known as the beefsteak mushroom. Now, I do not pick these. I do not recommend picking these. Because studies have shown that there's toxins inside of these mushrooms that will stay in your body over many years and they have the possibility to kill you and I'm not going to take that chance. Um, I, some people mistake them for a morel probably just because they've got the little you know, orbital dips or whatever you want to call them. But uh, there's a big difference. Even, I mean I could see maybe the Almost mistaking that as a white or a gray morel, but no, white, whites or gray morels are far more lighter color than that. And the good thing about beef steaks is you can't really mistake them. They're all this color. So, I mean, some of them are a little more red, but yeah, big difference, guys. Don't pick these. Funny is I told you not to pick those, and uh, I look up and, I mean, they're just growing all over the place. But one good thing about them is they love the same temperature soil and the same type of soil as a morel. So if you find these, chances are you're in a good area to find morel mushrooms. Not very often you find one just laying on the ground like this. It's been uprooted. It definitely didn't come out from right here. I'm guessing somebody picked this and dropped it. So, yeah, that's a score. <laughs> Here's one here just really hiding. That was a difficult one to see. Cool.